Hey, I just saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? Ow! Honestly, no idea. I think it's this treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. Gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that in minute, literally? <laughs> I think he's just like really cool with it. He doesn't care at all. Uh, I, just, I think it's hilarious. Man, what in the world? That sucks that Tombstone got taken, man. Man, that sucks for Tombstone. I was, really, I was really, I was really digging Tombstone there. Let's uh go over here, and uh, we're gonna we're going to get the Marco uh, missions completed because we're this is where this mission is, and then there's one here. So how many Marco missions do we have? All right, I can just go to here real quick. Uh, main story. Oh, not popping up. The flame. Is that, uh... So there's four left? Or is that... So, we have... We have this one, obviously. So we have one Marco left. Over here. There's... The, that's good. Is there gonna be a Marco over here? Maybe? There's blind spots there. There's one there. There's another one. So there's three there. So I'm assuming it's going to be... Uh, that last one's going to be like a part of that. So uh, let's go down and get this. What did he... Uh, violations and we're gonna have to revoke your license what a what a cool moment though that was pretty cool though because i i thought it was just gonna be like a thing that's gonna be building up over time where we're gonna get like harry and all that but it's actually like harry is uh straight up just uh he has the symbiote working or he's working with the symbiote and knows what it is so i wonder if he does he get jealous my he gets it at some been point. Rejected by calls for violence from, you know it, Spider-Man. That's crazy. On that, like, I wonder. I'm really interested in now how that. Now stands desecrated how that, uh, and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free-for-all brawl. There we go. Destroying iconic attractions <gasps> and history itself. <gasps> Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been changed. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness oh, the hunt. Hey, yeah, that was a trophy. What the heck? I just wanted to and reformed Sorry. criminal Lonnie Lincoln, aka Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. Ten minutes. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man. And any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure old glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. 
Is it? Is it? Oh. Not bad. Hey, you pay for that photo, Spider Man? Pay for you, pay for that photo. Uh, gosh, man, what? That's crazy, though. That. I, I was not expecting them to kind of take the game in that direction. I heard this guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. Exactly. I agree with you. I agree with you probably. That is not right at all. But, it's crazy that they decided to go down that route. This game. That's, that's pretty cool. I like it. It's different. I think. I, I don't know. Probably. Just how many of you are there? Red breaking up. Hey guys, let's go over here. I dare you, Spider Man. Come on. What are you protecting? Get Marco's moving. To our regularly scheduled programming, Sand Crystal Time. I start yelling, losing my cool. If they did anything to you, I can feel the sand about to take over, and then they splash me with some chemical. Don't know what it is, but trying my hardest to stay awake, I'm fading fast. Until I see black. Must have used some strong stuff to knock out Sandman. But what happened to Kimia? Hmm. Sorry if y'all see a weird cut there. Uh, uh, so let's see where. So it's over here somewhere. This is that one. There's a Marco memory over here. There might be one over here too, so let's try to get. Try to get that over here real quick. There's one over there. Try to get these. Try to finish up Sandman stuff here. This stuff. And I might cut some of this out here, especially if this if, if it leads to nothing. Uh, might cut some of it out so it doesn't, uh, it's not like a 30 minute episode or whatnot, so. Go do see, like, a cut. Um, that's probably what it is, is just, uh, me trying to get to one, one of these places so I can, uh, see where it's at and all that. Danicast clan, let's talk about Coney Island. First off, the latest news from first responders is many injuries, but no fatalities. Small blessings, but we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? 
who was the man who helped Spider-Man? Gotta be honest, folks, this is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. I was hoping that with two Spider-Men in town, we can steer away from more citywide chaos. Let's see real quick. Oh, is she gonna turn into Jonah? That'd be, that'd be interesting for us. These things happen for a reason should be cursed with wet socks forever. All right, cool. So, as you can tell, let me go get these guys real quick. If that gas truck blows up, it'll take out the whole block. Actually, yeah, I don't fight. I don't fight. Them. You know, what? We'll, we'll go over here. I don't fight doing it. So yeah, we'll come out here real quick. But if you can look at the map right now. I, you, you'll see some cut. You, I know I uh, mentioned earlier, but you'll see cuts here. But these are. I finally get the whole map cleared up, so I got kind of all the fog done and all that, so all the map is clear and ready to uh, be explored and all that, so let's get to Marco's here thing here real quick. Alright guys, and I am kind of back here, sorry, y'all will notice a weird cut in a different, uh, you know, place that I am at than I was previously, or it may look similar, uh, but... What happened was, uh, I, uh, after clearing the whole map here, uh, what I did was, or clearing all the fog in the map, maybe except for like the little, little bits and pieces here, but, uh, took a break, uh, last night and, uh, came back. So there's not going to be like an intro, like it, there usually is when I stop recording this time around. I'm just going to go play through it because, uh. It was uh, kind of stopped in the middle of an episode and all of that. Just to give you a little heads up there. But yeah, let's uh, take a picture of this, get down to this, and then do a little bit of Marco stuff here while collecting some of these photos and then kind of finish up Flint's thing like we were going to do. So let's. Uh, so invasion is nigh. Aliens crash in New York, not New Mexico. They are already here. They, I'd like, for, like, especially in this world, would he be considered a conspiracy theorist? Conspir conspiracy theorist? Because technically, that's the case. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle, not a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing, but saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. But it is though, right? Technically, in this universe, because there is aliens, like, wouldn't it be true? Like in. Uh, today, in today's world, uh, like, it's not, uh, it's not true, but, like, like, in reality, it's not true, but, like, in this world, it is because there is aliens in this world. So, I don't know what's the, I don't know, uh, I don't know. So, well, that's pretty cool. We got some little break dance in there. That's pretty awesome. We will see if we can get him in action here. See? I'm a journalist, I take photos, write articles, there we go. Give me an action shot. There we go. Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. Ooh, fast travel. We don't want the fast travel point. Interesting. Uh... What in the world is happening here? Oh, there we go. There it is. Thanks for coming to my talk. Today, we'll explore how to get sand everywhere. So now my... that's a knuckle mm -hmm. sandwich. Oh, well. Things are so easy. That was All probably gone. the easiest one. And that sand crystal is mine. I wake up in some kind of dungeon. Lots of empty cells around. You are not here. But are you okay? Marco must have felt so helpless. Trapped. With no idea where his daughter was. That's crazy. 
Is it forming into him? Like these collections? It is, isn't it? It's his daughter. What? That's pretty cool. She's going, so like, it's just little pieces that are formed. That's awesome. Because you have this right here. You have that. That's cool, you kind of see the foundation of that. That's awesome. Get that. It's getting molded together. His memories coming back to him. That's pretty cool how that's happening. See, it's the little things in games like this, you know? Like, you're collecting something, and like, obviously, it's a cool, it's a side mission. We know who the character is, but then you get to see this and how it's like developing throughout and like kind of representing his mind being put back together that's awesome that's awesome that's pretty cool especially a very like sympathetic ish type of character with him it's uh pretty cool to see so let's head over there head over here and get these while we're going to that Second last one or last one there? Oscorp. Yeah. That's perfect. I love Oscorp. That's pretty solid for him. Protesting isn't just a constitutional right to do. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. Three skill points. Huh? I'm going wrong. I'm going, I am going the wrong way. Yeah, I just like how like it's just like it, the the world building is really cool, and on top of that, it's uh, uh it's just like. The graphics and everything along with this is amazing. What are we doing here? Oh. Not bad. Pretty cool. Honestly, we need a whole other photo series just on New York's music. Its impact, the communities it built, its outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but this isn't bad. There we go. I think it's the last one on the map of Marco's. Yeah, it's the last one. Let's go do it real quick. I'm assuming the last one will be him, but yeah, we're finishing up Marco's story here. Bumpy grinds. That's a movie. Me before we get to this last one here, I wanna uh where we I'm not gonna take that one here. Alright, let's go. We got the double building here. Oh should I use the wings? Alright, go we're about I think I one just saw an sand crystals. So yeah, let's uh suit up here. Let's see. Anti anti ox suit. That's a cool suit. Oh man, I, I kinda wanna unlock this one. What's this one? There's a lot of suits in this game. What the heck? I don't know. I might I might go with the Scarlet here. Yeah. I mean, craft these. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I kind of like that. That's kind of a nice one. I don't know. Should I go with the regular? Go with, with the red and black. I'll go with the regular red and blue. I think I like that. Um, go with the skill tree here. Yeah, we need to get pizza up, don't we? Because we have a lot of. 
stuff that I was worried about in there. Yeah, because we have we already got through we need to get some of Pete's stuff and can take away to the store. I'm assuming this is when he gets the venom suit. But Spider Rush pulls me towards high school. Um this is two spider shocks and now sends out an overloaded power surge. Yeah, let's do that. It's two, it costs two. So let's just do it while we have two. And uh, I don't think we can get these upgrades. Yeah, we don't have enough. Oh, oh, name we need. We'll get that here after this one. Here we go. Last one. Let's do it. Here we go. They're really guarding this one. Here we go. The LE. This is a. I can't wait to see what happens here after this one. This is like the last one. On the map. Uh, maybe one gets. I'm sorry for blinding y'all if y'all were watching this with that. That was blinding me. Go. They say their boss is coming soon. And that he wants to meet me. I'm not waiting around. Sorry to break our promise, Kim. But I'll tear this city apart to find you. Marco was worried Craven's people hurt his kid. That's why he blew up. Oh, interesting. So now it, there's still that one left there. That's that's pretty cool. Marco was taken to the raft before he could find her. I need to make sure she's safe. Maybe there's more crystals back by where it all started. Okay, here we go. Of course, I feel like I'm like the... I have to be at like the furthest one away over it. So yeah, let's get to Marco's here. But Comment down below, who is your favorite Spider-Man villain? Or who do you think... Which villain has the best story arc or story character growth or anything like that comment down below um i think my personal favorite throughout the movies uh is obviously doc ock i think it's really cool to see his growth in his character and i think it was beautifully capped off in uh no way home with him uh being the reason they end up uh prevailing in that movie and then on top of that but it's just uh you know, when you when you get good villains, when you have a good and you have their motivations and you understand their motivations, it's always good. It doesn't always have to be the case because you look at the Joker, Joker doesn't really need a motivation. And sometimes that's better, but sometimes it's really good to get to know some of the villains and uh, like what why why did why did they turn down their path of villainy? You know. But I don't know, sometimes you don't need it. Well, I think like Joker's a perfect example. Of, like sometimes you don't need it. I think it's it depends on the hero and who the hero is and if that style of villain works out. Uh, for Spider-Man, I don't think it necessarily does, but for Batman, it definitely does. But um, I think it's uh really depends on the hero and the hero's journey and everything with it. Let's see here. There's another crystal, but no sand minions. Not that I'm complaining. 
See who's breaking. Where am I? That light. What is that? mind. I just know you're okay. Those giant spikes! Is the crystal at the center? It's crumbling! Gotta keep it up! His subconscious is starting to fight back! Oh, mate. I think it's gonna be it. There's the crystal. That last piece. I tried to be the best dad for you, Kimia. I really did. All I can do is hope they didn't hit you and that you're safe at your mom's. I love you so much, Mia. We'll be together again one day. I know it. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... Go to the statue to Kamiya. Hey, been calling you. My source at the raft told me Marco keeps repeating some address in Queens. Sending it to you now. I think you should check it out. Her mom's. Maybe that's where Kimia is. Hey, MJ. You think you could patch me through to Marco at the raft? Hang on while I look into it. I hope Marco doesn't die. Uh, no, that, like, he's an interesting, he's an interesting guy, but, but we're saying, like, the end of it. Okay, all set. Patching him through now. Spider-Man. Sorry for my... Well, the mess. Thank you. You helped me get my mind right. I'm sorry for not listening. Guess I never got to know the man behind the sand. But I think Kimi is at her mom's. On my way there now. If she's there, do me a favor. Give her those crystals. Something to... Remember me by. Of course. Take care of yourself, Flint. Dang, so Flint might end up actually dying in this hand. That's crazy to kill off Scorpion, though. That was insane. I was not expecting that at all. Um, early on. But they kill off a, a B list. Uh, Super villain for Spider Man, or I don't know, it could be a C list villain for Spider Man, but he's one of the more well known ones. Let's go. Jeez. Be where Mia is. Oh, this 
shrubbery here. Slowing down. Back up with some web. There we go. I want to see the statue before we deliver it. Real quick. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Well, let's, let's get the end. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's awesome. She's okay. I wish there was more I could do. Maybe I can ask some lawyer friends to help Marco with visitation rights. Feast together broken memories, yeah.